So today I've got this double O gauge Budapest TW6000 tram regular replica. It's not DCC ready. It's just analog, but I'm going to convert it to DCC. By fitting this chip in, but I'll have to hardwire it. So here goes. Hopefully, it works. And there doesn't appear to be any screws holding this together. So Yeah, the body just gently squeezes off. Yeah. Sentinel carriage. front keep them all in order so I know where they go right how are these fixed ah, it's clipped on Ah, a little bit more complicated than what I thought if I turn it that way. It's a motor in each end. See the pickups have got to be wired into the chip and from the output of the chip back to the motors. So I think the easiest thing to do here is to rewire the full train. There's a nice little slot here. To hide the chip in when I'm finished so what I'll do is I'm gonna um, just pause the video here so it'll take me a while to strip all this wiring out and to rewire it and hide the chip um, I'll switch it back on in a little bit so I've done all the wiring it wasn't hard, it was just a bit fiddly because of the amount of wires. So I had a positive and negative pickup on each end of the tram. So there's two motors. So I took all the wires off. Um, I ran a new positive to the centre and a new negative to the centre from both ends. So the reds from the pickup go straight into the reds of the DCC chip and the black pickups all go direct or both of them from each end of the tram go direct into the black of the DCC chip and the output of the DCC chip which is the orange and the grey orange and the grey here doesn't look very orange, it looks a bit pink. But they go direct to the motor. So these two motors were just linked. I just incept, intercepted the wires and connected the orange and the grey to the motors. So in theory the, the power now goes from the pickups into the chip. And the chip switches to the motor. 
hopefully that'll work. Now all I've got to do is dress it all neatly in here, making sure that there's no wires sticking in the commutators of the motors. And um, when I've got it all ready, I left a little bit of slack at each end as well, by the way. And that's just for when the uh, the cars turn. So I'll dress it all neatly, try and tape it down a bit better, make sure it doesn't stick in the motor, and then hide the chip, chip in this central sort of recess. Put all the bodywork back together and hopefully it should run on the track. Thank you. 